Hello YouTube, welcome to me filling my carpenter's box. I'd like to start out the video uh, a little something to say. Uh, I don't want this to seem like I'm bragging what tools I have. I'm a poor guy, I've collected some of this stuff for 20 some years, but I know other videos I watch with toolbox tours and stuff, they always mention that. that uh, I like to show what I have and I like watching videos because you will find things that you may never have seen before. Uh, just like this, an old Stanley utility knife. So that's why I like doing videos too, showing what I have. Because I have a few unusual tools. But we'll pause here and we'll get up a little closer and we'll show you what we got in here so far. Okay, it's kind of hard to get situated. Uh, why I think of it, I weigh this and it's like 52 pounds on a bathroom scale, and I still have more to add. Uh, this saw I got at Harbor Freight, it's one of them like shark tooth saws and that's just a cheap level which is two foot and I still have about four more inches to go not 30 inches like the box so I can go uh, something like 28 inches if I find an old level I got a couple of these stubby screwdrivers these are ProMate I've had them for a long time you can barely read it on there but just have them to keep that from sliding around we'll try to go through this pretty quick we have our little torque head uh, crescent wrench chisel this is a keen cutter spelled with a k k e e n cutter the cutter is spelled with a k the best chisel i own i've ever owned this will hold eight inch i've chopped through three eighths man exhaust manifold bolts uh, a couple center punches this is homemade from a sears ratchet uh, i needed something like a little wood chisel one time so, I think I got that camera. Uh, my nice little CT pliers. They're in here. And a real small pocket Craftsman screwdriver. This is a, it's made in the USA, Proline Superior Tool. So, that's a nice one. And I've already showed this, a Stanley. Made in USA. I like bragging that. That's why I don't have to take so many pictures. But this is non retractable, so don't stick that in your pocket. They probably have a leather sheath. Okay, we got a couple more of those screwdrivers. We'll move them off to the side. Uh, it's a Stanley USA. I really like my American tools. This looks like a Stanley there is no name on it but it does look like it so I'm gonna say if it isn't it's a copy uh, a couple of those spade bits this if you ever run thermostat wire wires through a wall uh, this is probably about what about a 3 16th bit or something these work good you can also tape your wire on the end and shove it through the wall so I always have one of them handy uh, carpenter pencil of course this I got at a hardware store. It was going out of business about 10 years ago. Made in USA. One of those where you you got your double-ended and double-ended Phillips. A nice old putty knife. Had this for a long time. I just cleaned it up real good. I really like older stuff. This I know for a fact belonged to my dad. Don't ask what kind of wood it is. Maybe somebody can tell me. Your little uh, angle, bevel, they got several names, I don't know what it is. You can use it like for a square. Checking angles, like if you know, if you have one rafter and you need to make more, uh, it's like an angle finder for dummies for me. My fold up ruler, which is in another video. Some hex keys. Paint can opener. We'll go down here. Uh, 25 foot Stanley tape measure. I beat this up. I built the shed in 2011 with this. So that's how long I've had this and it's been beat. So that's a test for it. A little cheap Harbor Freight flashlight. Always carry a flashlight. A string line bubble level. I used this when I built the shed. I have two of them. One and spaded. It's not green anymore. But this is goes on a piece of string. You see them hooks? But I want to explain the best I can some tools people haven't seen before okay we'll pause and we'll get the tray out of here and show you the rest of it I don't know if I showed I kept a little crescent wrench in there 
Okay, let me pause so this ain't too long a video and we'll get to the bottom of the box. Okay, sorry if I missed anything in the tray. Uh, we'll go down to this one be easier. Got my plumber's putty for sinks. When you put your drain in, uh, some simulated whatever pipe compound, pipe dope, as I call it. This has screws, nails, rivets, anything you might need. A uh, little box of bits I've labeled just for wood. A little plastic square, and there's my antique drill. Let's have a video on it. To me, it's antique. Okay, we'll move that over here real quick. We're going to try to do this without taking too much out of here. I do not have a decent claw hammer. I'm sure it said plumb on it. It's been beat. I've had to put tape on it. It's been used for pounding on stuff besides nails. Forgive me for doing that with a tool. This I take very good care of. A uh, guy was moving. This was in his garbage in a shed, tool shed, when he was moving. S-wing. I could take a picture of that, but it's an S-wing. Okay, we have our flaring kit, which just goes on for flaring copper pipe. This would go over here, uh, which I can't because wing nut, but you get the idea. This would go over this, like that. Uh, there you go. For flaring copper pipe. Okay, all right, some people call this a wonder bar, a little flat bar. You have to have one of them when you do any carpenter work. Uh, that little odd bit. Uh, they don't work too good in an electric drill. Pin snips. These are in my other video. Uh, that basin wrench from a different video for taking your kitchen faucet off. Uh, some of these tools are in another video I have, uh, just like this is. A little speedy wrench for tightening up pipe. Sheetrock saw. Pop rivet tool. That little Stanley crowbar. Some people call it a cat's paw. Can't get centered on the box here. Small pipe wrench comes in handy. I'm glad I got a little mini pipe wrench. Uh, paint brush because I didn't know where to put it. These imported channel locks which are good. They probably are older ones. They're just heavy and they feel good. Uh, remnants of an old wood chisel. Uh, you want to do a little work on a door lock or something. The old tack hammer. And I don't want to take that out. But that is a pipe cutter. It goes about two and a half inch. I rebuilt that and I have a video on it tubing pipe cutter rebuild. So, there you go. Now I gotta put all this mess back, but just thought I'd show how much I have in the box right now. So, thanks for watching.